this one I make here, real quick vlog. Grass trees, all up there is hard country here. And this is a place called River Tree, down in New South Wales. Now we're down in the River Tree in the valley. Uh, got confused apparently how the name River Tree come about. It was uh, three rivers run into uh, one, which would be the Clarence. And uh, in its uh, in its confusion, instead of three rivers, became River Tree. Uh, there's the TTR. Now they're a good bike. That's a 2002 model. It's only got 6,000 kilometres on it. Just clicked over 6,000. I've had it for many years. You can pick them up as cheap as cheap. Now, air cooled. It's got a pump of carby on standard. Um, good suspension, really good suspension. Renowned front forks, the KYBs. That good that Jeff Ballard used to put them on his uh, race bikes, like his WRs and all that, he'd put the conventional front forks on. Good enough for Jeff Ballard, good enough for me. Suspension's as plush as plush. Probably one of the best suspended bikes I've ever ridden, actually. They're quite a heavy little bike, but it's got electric leg and that on it. But this day, just going down here, so as I was showing you, there's decomposed granite this road, so it's as slippery as slippery. It's like riding on marbles, as a matter of fact. You just really got to watch it. <laughs> Even on, I just the TDR, I just rolled the throttle on in third gear around the corner there just now. And anyone that knows the TDR, if you can roll the throttle on in third gear and it goes sideways, you know it's very slippery because they got no power. No power at all. Now, this is steep over here. Very steep. Um, I don't know how many degrees is the fence down there. Now, there's the mountain range up the back here. This uh, obviously is let go here at some time. They uh, maintain this road well and they've drained it well because there's pipes in it everywhere. And uh, yeah, so if you look at this here, they've drained it well. And over the side here, over these gabion baskets, which actually it's not gabion baskets, but look at it. It's drilled, obviously drilled with feet and put in, and there's your pipe, it's a big pipe. It's probably a two footer into rock and then it just dribbles down over the rock. But that mountain range there, so we're looking at, you're looking around about a thousand metres there, one kilometre above sea level. That, you can hear a bellbird there singing out. There's bellbirds all down through here. Sound beautiful, but uh, pretty uh, hard on the eucalypts they love. They actually swarm the eucalypts, come out of um, Lantana. They love Lantana. And uh, they just uh, destroy the eucalypts that they... Um, eat but this is all this is hard country uh probably slow growing but bloody fun and uh there's big power line or well, not a big power line a power line there's probably only a dozen houses down here by the look of it i don't know the countryside that well you can see the power line going up the ridge there so yeah this is it and uh this is a this anyone that knows the suicide which i said before will know this is like it but just a lot bigger, probably five times bigger than the suicide. I think I just, I'm going to do a measurement on the way back. But um, it's about 15 kilometres, I think, of, um, of range. And uh, like I said, you can roll her on in a TDR and get sideways, so that tells me it's slippery. Or you can overshoot corners easy, I can tell you. Got to be very careful. But uh, I'm just going to video where I can see some slides. Someone's been cutting slides in a car down here. so And they're pretty keen because I'll show you the cliff they run along the edge of. That bell helmet's good too. Just flick the uh, visor down. Uh, I don't like goggles. They o I overheat because I run real hot. My body runs real hot. But no, this is a good little bike. I'm going to leave that. Swano Mick. Swano Mick from down in the valley. River tree, swimming out.